Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the collision detection, actually the, just the square to square collision detection. Ok, I set up, the, set up the program which we used in one of the earlier tutorial, the key, uh, so the key handling tutorial. So if you don't see the tutorial, go back watch it and use the same source code. Actually, it should nothing new in here, so I just set a boolean array, a rectangle, as you can see, I have two color, a black, this will be the black and color, and a white, this will be the color of the square. And inside the event uh, handling loop, we have a key down, which we use to determine which key is pressed. If this is the up, then go up, you know, just set the boolean va values. If we just release the key, set back to zero. And if some of them is uh, pressed, then, you know, just uh, move the direction we want. Okay, that's it. Actually, one thing that remains, if I uh, run the program, as you can see, as I'm moving, it will not delete the last part. I just want to show you how to optimize a little better this part of the code, because the last time we did that, we just deleted the entire screen. Uh, then, so the entire screen in every frame. This is a little waste of, uh, of the resources. Okay, so the thing that uh, you want to do is to copy this sphere rect, and before you move, so, you know, your earlier position, draw a black rectangle. Uh, this means that we first draw a black rectangle to the place of the white rectangle, then move, and then draw the white rectangle. This is a much more optimized code. Okay, so, if I compile it and run it now, as you can see, it is moving as before, although it doesn't draw an entire square, uh, so in an entire square uh, rectangle in the screen, just this 20 by 20 rectangle, right the earlier position of this rectangle. Uh, so I hope this is clear for you. Okay, and then I want to show you why this tutorial is, is the collision detection. Okay, make another rectangle up here, so where I defined the last rectangle, I just make another one. So make it r uh, uh, add the rect, obviously, and make it rect2. Okay, and uh, make it equal to, I don't know, make it 40-40, uh, the width may be 30 and the height is 100, okay? And actually draw it, draw it right here, so we don't want to redraw it, this uh, rectangle every time. Although in this case, if I go into the square, then it will be redrawn, but we will uh, prevent that you go into the square. So, draw right here this rectangle, so, SDL rect, uh, SDL field rect, I wanted to say, and the first parameter is there, so we want to draw it to the screen. The second parameter is the, the rectangle object we just created, this is the rect2. And the last parameter is the color. Uh, actually, we uh, make this uh, definition under the color, so we can use this color or color1 uh, to... I, I use the color2 because I want a white rectangle instead of an uh, invisible rectangle. Okay, if I now compile it, as you can see, you know, see, we have another rectangle right here, and we have a rectangle right here. This is just a static rectangle, as you can see, but the other one I can move. Okay, obviously if I go into this other rectangle, this will be redrawn with black. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, we want to prevent that going to the rectangle. Okay, that's why a collision detection is handy. Actually, a collision detection is not something you will learn about SDL. Uh, you will learn this uh, from anything. You can use collision detection anywhere. So, uh, yeah. Uh, inside uh, other languages and other uh, graphic libraries, you have to use the same algorithm to do that. Okay, make it right here. Okay, uh, usually the collision detection is uh, written with a bool, indicate that whether there is a collision or not, and the name is collision. Okay, and it weighs two rectangle, and uh, you know it will examine them and return true if there is a collision and zero if there is not a collision. So as the rect, actually I use a pointer because you know just the performance. It's a little uh, less size, but really not matter if you want. You can use uh, without pointers, and then you, you use the dot instead of the arrow member selection operator. Okay, so this will be rect one, and then we have another rectangle. This will be rect two. Okay, actually the rect 2 is a pointer as well, so you know, performance. Okay, then just, uh, I want to show you something, because you know, it's a little bit easier to do in this way. Okay, here we go, we have a rectangle right here. This will be, for example, the rect uh, 1. Okay, and the rect 2, and we want to check that is the rect 2 inside, uh, if so collide with this rectangle or not. Okay, first of all, we have to 
uh, examine that if the co if the, there is no collision, if there is no possible collision, then we return to, uh, then we return false, and only if uh, there is no no possible collision, then we return true. Okay. So first of all, if the other square, so the SD rect is above this square, then there is no way to be a collision. So for example, if the if this uh, other rectangle are in here, so the gray area, then there is no way to be a collision and to detect that is it in here or not so for example here the other so we have to check that this corner so the and this corner is uh, so this corner is less than this corner coordinates okay uh, it will be clear for you in a moment so uh, let's see first we check that the is the rect 2 uh, down the left uh, corner is above this uh, corner which is the, the right upper corner of the uh, rect one rectangle okay so we use a simple if so if uh, rect one and we use the error member selection operator because these are pointer uh, rect one not ten rect one dot y because we want to uh, check in the y axis as you can see Okay, so rect that what y is greater than because you remember the this way it is uh, increasing. So this uh, the y is increasing in this way, obviously. So if this is downer, then the coordinate is greater. I hope this is clear. Okay, so it is greater than rect two, uh, rect two dot y. But this is not enough because the rect two dot y is the upper corner. We have to check the downer corner, so we just add the height to this coordinate. So plus rect two dot uh, height. So this is it, and uh, there is no way to be a collision in this case. So we just return with false. Uh, the second check, we check that is it a uh, righter than. Uh, uh, actually, we check that is it lefter. Not matter the order, but you know. So we just check is it lefter or not. So in here, if there is a square in here, uh, somewhere, like that, we have to check it. Uh, so we check the uh, nearer corners again. So we check that uh, rec one dot uh, x is uh, greater than uh, rec two dot x and plus rec two dot width. So this corner, okay. So we check that is it greater or not. So if uh, rec one uh, x is greater than rect 2 x plus uh, rect 2 and uh, this and if this is true there is no way to be a collision because it is more right actually you know what we make it uh, uh, greater than equal so if if they are just uh, in here so not inside the other then it will be a collision as well so as you can see, now we have to check that is it under the square. So we just uh, go here. So if the square is here, as you can see, right here, then we have to check that the rec one dot y plus rec dot what height. So this down corner basically is uh, less than the rec two dot y. So the upper corner of the second rectangle. Basically, that's it. So we make another check. If rect one uh, y coordinate plus rect one height is uh, less or equal than rect two uh, uh, dot y. So if it is true, then there is no way to be a collision. And we need just a last check. We have to check that if the square is uh, righter than this square. So we just simply check this last uh, place, like that. Okay. So the square is in here, as you can see. So we have to check that the rect uh, one, uh, so this coordinate of the rect one, is uh, less than the this coordinate of the rect two. This coordinate of the rect one is the x coordinate plus the v, and this coordinate of the rect two is just simple the uh, x. So yeah. So the last check I we make is if rect one rect one uh, x plus rect one 
width is uh, less or equal than rect two uh, so rect two dot x and uh, this is it this was the last check and if it is all false then we just return with one like that okay so f uh, the so the point is we just check the uh, closer so the nearest uh, corners of two rectangle if this is upper uh, downer lesser or righter than this base square it is if it is all false then it is the and if there is a collision then it is inside or it is uh, in here or something like that okay so that was it the collision detection function now we can uh, use it okay maybe it it first seems a good idea to write it here so collision and you just press the address of rect rect and the address of rect 2 i think that's what i called the rectangle rect and rect 2 yep so maybe it seems a good idea first but uh, if you do that you will stuck but never mind i show you i run out of time anyway so you just put it here and try to compile it okay there is a problem yeah this equal sign is in black place like that the equal always goes to the end of the other operators okay and now we can run the program and if i go and uh, Sorry about that. So I uh, don't want to move if there is no collision. Not if there is a collision. So yeah, that's why this thing doesn't move. Now we can move as you can see. But if we move to here, there is a collision and I stuck. I cannot move uh, in any direction as you can see. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. Uh, that's why you shouldn't use this method. Uh, instead of this, you, use, uh, you first uh, modify the structure. And if there is a collision, then just move it back. So in here, actually make this uh, curly bracket code because we need more comments in one line more expression uh, more line if you like it so just quickly make a, a code lock for bracket what the hell happened again i don't know that time this happened in the sudoku solver if i remember well and then i didn't know what the hell was it so yeah okay so i just quickly what the okay have no idea so I just quickly made code blocks for all of the if if statement, as you can see, because we need more line there. So that's all I did, and make this back. Okay. So now, if there is a collision, so I just put it here. So first, modify the structure, and if there is a collision, then move it back. So in here, uh, make the opposite uh, thing. So in this case, uh, addition. So reg dot y plus plus as you can see so the basic thing I we move if there is a collision we move back and that's all we need to do so i just put it everywhere and uh, then i rewrite those okay and just uh, mi always the opposite so x minus minus and y minus minus and x plus plus and that's all okay and if i just delete these things in here then I can compile and run the program perfectly and it will do whatever we like it to do. Okay, compile, run, and now whenever I move and I move to this thing, I cannot go inside. As you can see, not matter how hard I press the key, it doesn't go inside. As you can see, it works for the other uh, side as well. I cannot go inside. The, the collision detection is one of the base thing of uh, of the game making because every game needs a collision almost every game needs a collision detection some collision detection we have in case of the uh, snake game as well although that uh, that just examine all of the parts although that was relatively good in case of that program because we have just i don't know a few part 10 parts so it is very good in that program but in case of any modern program we need more uh, we need we need to uh, we need a bounding box collision detection that's mean we have a box, for example, around our image or in 3D, we have a 3D box around our 3D mesh and we check the collision detection with that.